Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are doing a apartment slash house hunting segment on my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna bring you all around with me and Shaylin while we go and look at houses. And so let's go ahead and do that. The stairs are right here. We can head upstairs. Look, this has a dimmer. Go in. This toilet is really this small. This little tile could be redone or just like spray painted over. See. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no. Hell no. But they have jets in the tub. Pretty deep. Okay. This is deep. I feel like this would cover my boobs, which is very important. Oh, I like this. <sighs> this wouldn't be big enough for the three of us. All right, so this first house was $1,250 a month. It's 1,696 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bathroom. Now, what we did not like was that the stairs were right there by the door, but with some houses, that's okay. But with this house, I didn't really particularly like it because the stairs were so steep to the fact that you could fall over, as you see Shaylin mentioned um, in the video. Um, but the actual outside, like the curb appeal of the house was fantastic. Um, it said dogs and cats were okay, which is a plus. It's Marta accessible, but I don't like that it has a gas stove. I really want everything all electric. And so um, you're going to see like the type of things that I'm going to start picking at once we go to each house to house to house. Do y'all see this driveway? Like who is going to live here? Like seriously. This house is $1,295 a month. Cats and dogs are okay. 1,406 square feet, three bedroom, two bathroom. Now when you're walking up this steep hill, there's a window right there that I assumed would be like a, ba a basement, which would have been perfect. However, it's just like a window in like the loft part. Um, and like I couldn't even get my car all the way up the driveway. So that was already a no, but I did go ahead and just humor them to see what it was like inside. It was pretty nice inside. Um, a lot of space for what you're huh? paying for a month. So that's good. Underneath this, this is nice. Steps going down, you got a little garden over there. This is shaded, which is nice. They can smoke out there because I'm not doing that in my house. This is not like the inside is cute. It's pretty steep. Oh, I have a look. What is it? Water heater. And I guess that's the outside. That that um driveway is not the most. Plan. 
Remove. Mm -hmm. So the bathrooms are a pretty decent space, but the rooms other than the master room they're pretty small and the closets in all of the rooms are pretty small so i really like the kitchen and the deck on this house if it was on the other house mm -hmm. i don't like this neighborhood at all mm -hmm. and i thought there would be a bedroom downstairs which would work yeah more like a roommate type thing the closets are tiny as well yeah and they are very small there's not a lot of space from room to room which i need space from room to room so yeah, let's see where we're going next. So yeah, with this house, it was $860 a month, which is great. It didn't have any specifications of the square feet, but it was two bedroom, two and a half bathroom, a nice size full ba um, half bathroom downstairs, excuse me. And then the two rooms, it was kind of set up like roommate style with one room in a, it's basically two masters, one room on this side, one room on this side. I mean, it's perfect. Like when me and Shailen left, we still wanted it, but the only issue was the location of the house. Like the location sucks. Like, if this was moved over, like, by my dad's house, instantly, I would apply for it today. Um, that's how good it was. It had everything I wanted on the inside. It's just that the location of it was horrible. Like, this neighborhood looked like um, snow in the bluff. So, yeah. Me too. Kind of like a dorm. It's probably been empty for a while. Oh, they're both masters. That's nice. It's important. <laughs> it's a big door. You climb up there. <laughs> to do what? Mm. All right, so this house was $1,000. $545 a month cats and dogs okay three bedrooms two and a half bathrooms um, this is 2,182 square feet so I mean that's a pretty reasonable price for how much amount of space you're getting um, cats and dogs okay what I don't like just off curb appeal was the orange shutters like ugh. but because it'll be rented um, per month then you can't really change stuff like that because then it's not your house. You would have to kind of own it to change stuff like that unless your landlord, you know, lets you do that. You see? No, that's no appliances. Yeah. No gas. Yeah. I like the high ceilings. It's hot as fuck right now. It's for three people. Oh my. Shaylin. Oh my god, the bathroom's beautiful. Separate shower. Separate toilet. <laughs> oh my god. They must have re they just re rebuilt the house. They must have oh, fit the location, you wouldn't think. Wow, Gooch. Gooch. Fucking clouds, huge. Look, Gooch. you got a little shoe rack right here on your hats in my man's case. Right, y'all this is the last house and it was one thousand four hundred and sixty five dollars a month um cats and dogs okay one thousand four hundred and ninety square feet so you're basically playing a dollar per square feet for this place um it was a three bedroom two and a half bathrooms 
um it was a great drive a uh, great driveway great neighborhood everything was great it's just that fourteen hundred dollars for a three bedroom you i would have to have three people in there i'm splitting the rent with that way that all of my income is not going just toward rent when i have other expenses included you know but i mean it was beautiful guys just beautiful for it. that's 500 if it's three people each Are you still looking? Yeah, I'm looking. Got a lot of stairs too. Mm-hmm. Too much of the house. Ain't it though? I was hoping one of these was a basement. You're an idiot. Two car garage. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do live in Atlanta, so the price versus what you pay for, but. The price versus what you receive is kind of what I want to emulate through this um, video. I do know that some cities are cheaper than others and sometimes in Atlanta, because everybody's coming, they're gonna raise the prices in like Midtown, in downtown, in Peachtree, Dunwoody, Alfreda, like, no. You, you need to come kind of out, kind of like um, DeKalb County, um, Fulton County is okay, but you know, like I said, you have to be on like that outskirt if you're like young like me, no family. It's not really a point of you investing your entire check just to have a nice place. You know, like you can find nice places on that outskirt and it still be relatively close to um, where you want to be, like on the hot spots of Atlanta. Um, like right now from my dad's house, it'll take me like 27 minutes to get downtown but we don't live in Atlanta, but we live in like a surrounding city. So that's what you have to think about if you're gonna move here because so many people are coming here. So I kind of hope that this video kind of helped you if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave it down below. I'm free to answer all questions y'all might have in regards to moving here. Uh, if y'all want to see like more hot spots in Atlanta or you want to see more like loft styles or more midtown um, kind of area instead of like the rural, y'all want to see like city wise, I can do that too. Just let me know. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.